This is to Jack and Mary Ann. Wherever you're at, I will find this. And I will find you, Mary Ann. I took your word for everything. And I give you Mary Lou's jewelry and a crown derby and some other bits of things. And you and Jack has ended up buying trailers, mortars, because you haven't got a penny in your pocket. So you've had to take my baby's bits of things. But when I do find you, I will be coming with a van and I will be pulling the trailer away and I'll be taking the two motors because I'll bring some, some boys with me to take the motors. Now you, Mary Ann, I give you the benefit of the doubt of everything in my own. I trusted you because you come off good people. You've got a mother and father and three brothers. When they say this on Facebook, your mother and father won't be too pleased. Like you said to Mary Lou when she texted you, my dad's gonna let, uh, find your mother and father. And what did you say, Mary Ann, when you text back to me, little girl? You're not bothered. We'll see what your mother and father and your three brothers will say about this. And when Levi does come back from the USA, like he said he was over in the USA, tell the fella to get in contact with me. That's Levi, your brother, because I don't want to say too much on the phone what you've been saying about the fella. So, Levi, if you see this video, come and see me or give me your phone. Your, your sister has taken my baby's money and everything. And as for you, Jack, you're a waste of time. You're no good. You never will be no good. And you can do this to me and to your brothers and sisters. You grab me by the throat and nearly choked me on Sunday at John Taylor's yard, John Taylor's place. All the travellers heard you. And then you turn around and said to the travellers, oh, that was just my dad. he come for some Crown Derby. I come for more than Crown Derby, and I come for more than a lot more things. But I will be back, and you will never, ever talk to me again. You will put my windows through with Kevin McShane and nearly killed my little girl and nearly killed my baby what was in my wife's stomach at the time. And by the way, I was only three days out of hospital having a, having a major hospital operation, bypass. Three days sitting on the settee when you put all my windows through with Kevin McShane, your brother. You're a O'Neill and he's a McShane, but he's your brother. You, Mary Ann, I will come and see you sometime. And you know why I give you that bit of stuff to put away. Because you, you knew I was really poorly and I didn't know if I was going to die. That's the reason why I give it to you and I trusted you. So I hope your mother and father never talks to you again and your family. Because you're a disgrace to everybody and everybody at all what belongs to me. You, Jack... Don't belong to O'Neill family. Never have done, never will do. So all the trouble you're gonna get yourself into, get yourself out. Don't come near me or any of my family. You, Mary Ann, I will see you when I find you. Anybody out there who knows where these people's at, traveling people, on anybody's site, if you've got a bit of common sense, check the people off, because I am coming for them. And my name is Bar O'Neill. Most travellers know me in Leeds and most gorgeous people know me as well. So I'll be waiting for your phone call or I'll be waiting for you to pass a message on through Facebook to my daughter. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything.